Hey everyone, John Lorden here. This is part two of my interview with Joshua Wright about the disappearance of Noah Brandon Davis. If you've just found this video, you should really do yourself a favor, go back and watch Danielle Hallen's video, as well as an episode of Johnny Vlogs I've released about our approach with reviewing this case and part one of this interview. Links for all of that are in the description box below. Uh, before I start this interview, I wanna say this video is not meant to be a comprehensive investigation into the disappearance of Noah Davis, but to specifically try to address a lot of theories from critics of Joshua Wright and his information. My ultimate goal is to help move the focus back to Noah and hopefully inspire all these parties to take more constructive steps towards their individual investigations, hopefully spend a little less time and focus on what a lot of people consider uh, an online feud, myself included. So with that being said, we are welcoming back Joshua Wright. Hey, Joshua. Hey, how are you? Good. Thank you so much for hanging out with me again. I really appreciate no it. Uh, today, we're going to get into the phone. We're going to get into the truck and we're going to talk about motives, why people think that maybe for some reason you might be involved with this. Uh, in terms of the phone, did you ever find the cell phone that Noah picked up from the police station? Um, I found a way to identify it. found a way to identify it. I can remember. I don't. I have several. I got a box around here right now that's just filled with uh, used electronics and all kinds of things like that. Yeah. Um, I explained it, I think, in a video once or whatever, but like the, um, apparently it was definitely not the common uh, approach to what I was trying to show. It definitely wasn't. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, the model and information identifying that was what was on that account happened to be figured out that method. Right. So, you know, I didn't notify the detective and um, he didn't, he didn't have interest in going further about it. So, so you, you like, identified what phone was accessing mm -hmm. Noah's Facebook account. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's but what did that you, video shows, highlight facing the model number. I yeah. Right click, uh, search Google for this, bam, bam. And I see an image of the, of the, you know, you put a model number in, you're going to see about four or five images of that model. Right. So and now you like, go, oh, I bet that's it. Yeah. You go to the box of electronics that you have, and the actual phone is in there? I mean, that model phone is in there. Yeah, absolutely. Do I don't know. Um, I, and I, I immediately um, – there's also other items found that day. Uh, some of it actually was um, a toothbrush. His toothbrush that had uh, – his toothbrush. It, we had – they'd asked us for a toothbrush. Like, yeah. go back. For DNA Obviously. collection. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I found a toothbrush in his property. It was one of his released, I want, uh, in this, uh, like a tub of tubware, like a bigger one uh -huh. that we finally went through. Like, I still have things uh, behind me. Those are not online. This poem is not online. Don't it? Uh, there's a lot that's not on the internet. Now, are we, um, we're talking about, you had moved, right? This You're in a different place now than you were at the time that this was all happening. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. I now have everybody's things and stuff. <laughs> I gotcha. do. My mom had a lot of knickknacks too. Gotcha. So all that stuff moved along with you. And then yeah. I just want to be really clear about this. A couple years later, you find a phone that's the same model, which you did say at one point that you and your mom had the same model phone, right? That yeah, you both have the same kind of track phone, right. branded flip phone, um, because that was my like, uh, I don't know. Back in the day, they were not. They were kind of the normal cheap phone or whatever to have. Well, yeah, we did change startup. We did want to change the data plans because we lost the internet service at the house, and uh, it do was you, what it was. But we got we started a new contract with all of our phones. So, do you know that the phone that you found is that <laughs> the one that Noah picked up from you from jail? Is it the same phone, not just the same model? No, no. I, I had a, I had a, um. I want to say an LG brand phone myself. I, I tend to have a pretty expensive one myself because I'm quite the dork or whatever. And um, no, um, and also from what I've seen on those logins that I did study, it's not as quick as that video is that I show. Yeah. I don't see my model in there on any of those. He must have sold that or something or got rid of her lawsuit or whatever quite quickly. But I don't speculate as I, sh I mean, I do personally, but I don't state speculation. Gotcha. And so when I see that, I'm like, that's 
Oh, it definitely is weird that you don't see my phone on any logins. No, it's not whatever. I think this but is a I, really important clarification because based on the information I was reviewing, a lot of people are assuming the found the phone that you found is the oh, same yeah. phone that you gave him from prison, and you're saying I that is absolutely that. not the case. But no, oh, what yeah, we can confirm, what yeah, what we can confirm is the phone that you found might be the same one that he logged into Facebook mm-hmm. with around that mm-hmm. time. Yep. And Which, I let you take note right away, like I'm supposed to do, by law and by courtesy. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't interested in this time. It's what he kind of said short for you. Well, and honestly, with what you told me, I'm not sure that it's that interesting because of the type of user that Noah was. You said that he would carry or ask you to borrow a phone so he could just jump on someone's Wi-Fi yeah, and kind Wi-Fi. of yeah, – Yeah, and log in. He wasn't using the cellular service necessarily, so mm-hmm. – it kind of makes sense that if he did have a go-to phone that was just at the house, mm-hmm. that he would just jump on that, jump on the Wi-Fi. Yeah, and as a detective or an uh, investigator, you're going to probably need to base your looking into around a Google account more than a physical device. Now, I mean, that's just where I would see the, ch- the way times are changing. And I have yeah. to, oh, man, I bet you I should look at at gmail.com account because – uh, they're a dime a dozen device, device, device. I right. mean, honestly, yeah, there's been times where my daughters had one. I had my mom's under mine. Like, we just had internet service. Right. My daughter's was on the Wi-Fi. My mom, you know, that kind of stuff. I typically tend to have a few not in use phones. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, now, in an email you sent, and I th- we might have already obliterated this point by making the determination. <laughs> I like that word, man. Yeah, but I just want to get this out just in case. There's an email that you had sent, I believe it was to D- Detective Miles, where you were telling him that you found this phone, and upon powering it on, it seemed that I logged into it upon my release as the only phone around that I could find. Do you remember that email? Uh, it sounds like something I would say. Yeah, uh, do I remember off the top of my? I think I remember doing it on the porch of Uncle Rick's. He had the only our internet was off. He had the only internet. Um, <clears throat> okay, I don't. That might have been an accidental login situation or scenario again. Like, dude, I'm um, on the podcasts and stuff, or, or or anything like that. Or sometimes, you know what? Especially in the emails, especially in the emails, I don't think. Hey, man, um, there's gonna be about. 450,000 people possibly reading through these going, what in the right. world did he misspell basketball for or something like that? Like, yeah. I'm not thinking about that. I'm like, hey, Alan, you know, I'm having like a, a shoulder nudge moment. Kind of, That's the way I'm looking at it because, hey, yeah. is this yours? No, all right, cool, bye, whatever. We we talk in passing, and in the South, we're very short and sweet sometimes, back and mm-hmm. forth to each other, but we're communicating. Yeah. Did you say you needed this? No? All right. Something and like that's that. kind of what the scope of this email was, is you were de- – Checking with Detective Miles, you told him, I hey, I felt that it was a pretty good thing, and I was definitely in the right for uh, letting him know, you know, and yeah. I definitely um, still feel like he probably should have taken it, but he didn't. <laughs> well, he didn't. yeah, especially considering that one of those Facebook logins on that particular model of phone coincides with the last contact of the Facebook Messenger communication, right? Yeah, but what always caught my attention more was the log out on the second log in. Yeah. Someone logging out was weird to me. It wasn't me. Right. Uh, why would someone log him out? Yeah. Do you know and if is that, a, that is that an automated thing? Is there like a certain no, amount of time passing? Has your app ever logged you out? No. I've never been automatically logged out unless somebody's blocking you. Yeah. Or somebody's uh, reported your images or something like that. That's the only time I've ever seen <laughs> And I've seen that. Okay. Uh, um, you know, that's the only time I've ever seen an automatic log out. Okay. Gotcha. I don't know. Have you ever heard one? I don't know of one. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a Facebook user. So in particular, I'm not, I'm not the best resource. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like to get a little bit. Uh, I like to figure out little bitty tricky, innovative ways. If I can find them to use as tools, I will. At least yeah. when it comes to something like this, it matters. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You want to use every tool you can find for something uh-huh. like this. Um, did Noah know about that box where you kept all the electronics? Would it make sense yeah. that? Okay. So it would make sense Everybody that he could have put it back. He could have used the cell phone for a little bit, jumped online. I would, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, he didn't have one of his own. Honestly, if he could figure out, that, I wouldn't be able to tell him if it was be possible to network activate. Usually they are. That's why I hold on to them. If not, I'll sell them off parts. So usually they are is the answer. No, having a job is not. Right. But yeah, of course I want my little brother to have a phone because what? We might need to reach him. Oh, have, if we had a very big need where we needed to reach him and 
not that there was any foresight, but we're family. We want to be able to reach each other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was there anything missing from the box that you remember? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a junk drawer kind of thing. Okay. I wouldn't know. And there was nothing uh, notable or like uh, missing link or, okay. or especially, you know, because you would all, you would also said kind of, previously that it seemed like uh, Noah was on this thing where he was looking for stuff to sell and kind of going on this big, I don't, I don't know if he was. On yeah, what, what was that from specifically you're referencing? Uh, you had mentioned it in the, in the last segment about uh, Noah being on, on this. Cast, all, or this show or what? This what show, the, the interview okay. that we had just done. Uh, you had mentioned that it seemed like Noah could have been grabbing stuff together that he was potentially trying to sell. We know he was trying oh, he to sell was your truck. He trying to sell it. He definitely was trying to sell it. I've seen people... I, I hate seeing these things because I do pay attention. I read it all, and it's uh, yeah. people doubting that he would even do uh, what he really was trying to sell my truck. I yeah. don't understand, and that's going to be apparently a permanently never answered question. But he definitely no one knew that he could do. It. I'll be honest with you: let me borrow your truck, and somebody puts a gun to my daughter's head. I'm giving them your truck. Yeah, stuff yeah. like that. I, no, I my gut tells me that. Josh will understand it. Josh is going to understand is his motives. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's, 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 that's where my heart is on that. I see, And honestly, if I could see the seriousness behind whatever this was, yes, dude, I would gladly trade this. Right. And like 20 trucks for my brother, dude, you know? Yeah. It's not that important. It is important. Life's critical at that moment like that. We feel, you know, but it ain't. His life, man, is old man. Yeah. I ought to give him all that I could possibly. So it's it's pretty clear to me that you you suspect that there was something that he was trying to pay off, and that's why he was going. He or, most certainly was, yeah. Okay, okay. And do you think that's drug-related? I don't know. I don't know okay. what that was, discipline type of scenario, movie theater, singing, enactment thing going on. I don't know what he had. I don't know. Okay. Gotcha. I don't know of any kind of, um, you know, serious security threat group possibly coming after him. I've heard all these little stories and some have common denominators in them to this day that still linger when I get the information. But yeah, I also, though, nothing seems to be taking that serious around here, like blah, 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 gang. I'm like, I don't care about gangs. Keep that your day. Right. They blow stuff off like that, but apparently there's legitimacy and merit or whatever, but still, they all sound stupid to me. I gotcha. Um, and it's, it's probably a good time to bring this up. So on July 30th, it, appear, it appears that there's a Facebook Messenger conversation between Noah and his godmother about an <laughs> iPad that he took from her she thinks was stolen by him and she's communicating with him on a Facebook messenger, but that's on July 30th that that's happening. Do you think that was actually him communicating? It It was um, probably more than likely my mother. I think I've seen that before. I don't know which one. I mean, I can pull it up myself, but it had to be mom. Okay. And mom um, was, I don't know. Mom, uh, yeah, we both knew Noah's login info and stuff at that time. And, uh, that wasn't unheard of. She would get on there to look and see. It, and I think she was still in the hospital July 30th. Okay. I check, see where my son's at. She would definitely be doing that. Okay. That. It, it could be possible because, quite honestly, the replies that he seems to be writing to your godmother don't make she a whole lot of sense. Can't spell. Yeah, so that's her. That's definitely her. And also medication she's in the hospital. I explained that a lot before. And okay. I, people definitely were, and I hate it. I always hate it. My mom would always, I miss spelling words for her. Yeah. She would always, Josh, how do you spell this? And I, I miss doing that. You know, dude, that was one of the craziest things I, I noticed. Yeah. She couldn't spell. She had third grade education, nothing more. Yeah. Let me just say, I'm really sorry that you lost her in the middle of all this, man. This has already been a really <laughs> yeah. tough thing to go through. And, and I understand that that was a really bad turn in all this. Um. So on August 1st, there's some phone calls to your phone, the phone that hasn't been found, I assume. Right. Uh, I, don't, I don't know which, um, what model number one was that had been, what, I'd have to reach the, again, off the fly. And I, I like yeah. showing that I, I am. I think a, I got off this. Off the top of my head, I don't remember the model number. I, I, it was just, I think it was a newer LG phone at that moment. I don't think I've ever seen it again. Okay. That's all I can say, really, with a definitive kind of answer to it. Sure. But I think from your information I've seen that you noted that there was some phone calls that were going to your phone on August 1st, like that it had only been yeah. a minute, like a couple of short, really short phone calls. 
Yeah. Do you know if those calls yeah. were, were answered or were they just people trying uh, to some call Some looked like they were, yeah. Some looked like they were. Okay. Uh, again, that was one of the things that I've, uh, you know, I even downloaded the uh, whole archive of the Google. But right. I didn't care. I didn't care. Okay. I don't know. So I'm like, well, I'm just, well, you want to USB? You don't? All righty. They've always kind of, maybe he's magical in other areas I'm unaware of, but it just, you know. Yeah. And again, I respect Tim. I'm just saying that like, Okay, you don't want that? Are you sure? Nope. Okay. You can't second guess them all the time. I mean, it's not going to do anything but make him start replying with a letter. Yeah. Anyway, like, uh, why? You know, that's, where, that's where I've seen it. It could have had a, just a downward slope and correspondence. And I don't think you'd get any worse than where we're at. So. Right. Um, so talking about the logout that you were talking about, that actually happens on August 2nd, the Facebook logout. That we was seen. that right? Is that what I said? Yeah. Well, I've I've seen the the information from your video. That one stuck out first. I remember saying, "Whoa, somebody logged out on the second. I remember saying that first. Yeah, and we know that that is on the same Net Ten phone that we've been talking about that you say you've you <coughs> found, but probably wasn't your cell phone that you had uh, in jail. Uh, so, and we've already touched on. We don't think that that's an automated timeout, but it appears. Because it's on that specific phone, which it does have the net. Have we Googled that? I mean, I've never done that. Have we Googled that, that model and automated timeout Facebook app or something? I mean, I'm sure the answers are out there. No, that's, a, that's a really thing. good thing. It's never been a thing. Yeah. No, that's, that's yeah. a really good thing to check into uh, just yeah, to, to rule it out that. if there was an automated logout. If there wasn't, then we have to assume that someone in your house actually logged that out, logged uh-huh. him out of Facebook. It could be anybody with a lost phone, too. No, it didn't have to be somebody in the house. Um, it could be someone logging in or logging out like Noah's dropped his phone and guy in the park picks up. I like this phone. Me keep it. Log out on Facebook. Right. But this is the same phone that you find. We know oh, that. Okay. Is it? Yeah. We I, know I, that logout happens on the Net 10 Whirly phone. Okay. So... That's that's where I'm kind of interested because it, is it is it possible someone else was using the phone in the house to jump on the Wi-Fi again? Was it a phone that was used by multiple people in the house? Uh, I mean, if they're sitting there, yeah, it's likely it's possible. My daughter, but one of them, uh, here's the phone, Kaylee, for YouTube or whatever. Yeah, that was that, that happened a lot. Like I'll call her in the room right now. She'll tell you that. Always, I wish I didn't do it. <laughs> I wish I didn't prove it. <laughs> But, I'm just uh, I'm just trying to is theorize. A common use there uh, that absolutely could happen, and then yeah. also you would definitely want to make sure you logged out of Noah Davis's Facebook account before you gave the phone to a child. That's one yeah. scenario, and yes, that did happen, and yes, my mom did do that, of okay. course. And, and we know that know, you're. I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm saying like uh, probably. Though. It's possible. Okay, I just that, that's all I'm looking for is just potentially what could be <laughs> happening nice. around that because you're in jail. We know that you're not there. We know that you didn't do it with that phone. Not at home. You know, not yeah. At home. yeah, you're not at home on August second. Um, in terms of the ping information that I've seen, I believe it came from you. I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh-huh. I did see All a ping the, the file. Yeah, I, I did I was see pinging from jail. I was like, ping, ping. I was like, no, I wasn't. <laughs> Raymond had no signal. No, I'm talking about the phone ping information that looks like it's from 9:29 p.m. on July 28th, and it looks like a ping in the area of the Tennessee River. Are you familiar yeah, with right. that? So I remember that's what I'm saying. The water treatment plant thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I even went down there on foot myself and walked around, um, looking and looking, and there's a lot of. Uh, Homeless activity in that area, kind of, which is uh, kind of frustrating when you see because there's a very, if you Google Earth, so go down there and Google Earth. Yeah. Which, by the way, I highly recommend any other missing uh, person families to n- take note of Google Earth's history yeah. feature. And I just realized that this year, man, I can go back to 2014 and look at these areas. Right, right. Very helpful. Yeah. Just throwing that out there. But I'll go back and I'll look, and the, the, the bushes were as thick as they were when I was down there that day. And it almost is like a hidden back cave entrance, like you walk to an initial little holly bush and there's like a community. And so I was like, oh, man. Wow. And I'm looking around. I'm like, oh, there's no there's no telling. There's definitely foot trails here and there. And then there's water. Right. Uh, I, yeah, I didn't want to find out. Now, this confirming anything there or kind of thing. But I definitely looked. It just, oh, oh man, I hope that something's like not a clue kind of a moment. I don't know. They'll just say, I'll never find him there or I'll never, or something. He just didn't look, uh, it's not a place my brother would go to. Right. But if someone picked up the phone, 
you know, if someone took it out of your truck when your truck was well, there with the windows open. Yeah. I mean, it, there's a, a bunch of different ways the phone could get there. You know, I think honestly is, uh, it's obviously very plausible. Uh, my mother's phone was on my, um, what was it on a uh, Google photos account? I think for cinema, I don't know how she done that or managed to do that, but Google photos only had my, um, email sort of logged into it also. And she being in that hospital, the patient is very close to those locations. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Cause they are, you know, I think there's a, area and that's sort of like that whole yeah. throwing a dart at a dartboard thing about it because it's yeah it doesn't make sense it doesn't it just doesn't make sense like how yeah. no one's here no one's here no, what we got to put no one down here near the river it just happens to be a block down from the hospital i think there's a good chance that was probably my mom logged into google photos what what phone is that 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 ping came from is oh, it oh man i don't know i don't know that off the top of my head uh, did the ping my information come from the detectives phone. or did it come from you? Is it from the location history? Uh, yeah, it's definitely in the location history. And I can't say that it's not in the Facebook security stuff. I know it's definitely in the, in the uh, location history. Okay. So, I'll send you a snapshot or something other if you like. Yeah, well, it's, it's just something you might want to look into more to understand uh, and, and to help everyone else that's trying to understand this case. We, we really need to separate these phones if there are two phones and understand – what information, like, is this ping information from your missing cell phone or is this ping information from the Net 10 phone that we know was in your home at some point? Did someone carry yeah, that out? I don't want to follow the breadcrumbs of, a, of a, I guess I could see the, where this could be going on that. Yeah, you don't want to follow the wrong trail. Yeah, exactly. And we, yeah, yeah. we're thinking it's one item now, but according to this interview, we're actually talking about two separate phones. So I think... In order to help you in terms of understanding this case, you probably want to, yeah, get some separation going on and understand what the path of each of those phones is. Uh, and just remember that when you're, you could watch this video back and, you know, write down notes about next steps or things that you want to do. Oh, yeah. See, I've that. always thought about, like I've told you before, innovative ways that I can use social media things to my, uh, the keeping, saving, archiving of texts and voicemails and everything like that. I, I learned that it would work and be a great idea for custody matters. Oh, yeah. That's when that number started. It's mine and my daughter's birthday combined, my telephone number. Is. Yeah. It's not numerically, it is those dates. And uh, I've had it the whole time, and it was because of the custody matter. And when I spoke to the other person there, it was on record every time. And I did it that way because I don't have, I didn't want, uh -uh, I didn't want to be like, uh uh, she said this, or he said, uh, no, yeah. there it is. Well, let's Google search in my Google Voice account and see how many times this. Exploded yep. was even you. She called me that or whatever. Right. Uh, did I say that? Here we go. There it is. And it, it appears that that helped you. I mean, you you wound up win, winning that case. So oh, I did. In a, yeah. In a man. And now we are moving on to the topic of the truck. So uh, when you were initially called about the truck, you told the officer that you assume the keys might be left in it. What what led you to that assumption? I do. I don't know, man. I, my attitude's always, I uh, hope I don't get humbled on things like this. I usually leave my individual key in ignition because I come on and try. You know, it's always my dumb mentality, I guess. Somewhere. Gotcha. Gotcha. So you I were associating know. what you would have done in that case. Yeah. And honestly, we were a lot alike. What yeah. we do think we are, we really are. And that'll probably get torn apart by somebody somewhere, but. Me and Noah lived together. Me and Noah knew each other. He was a lot like me. Right. I could guess how he would react, and I really could, okay. very accurately, better than uh, now anybody. What did you see when you got to the truck? Definitely odd. Noah would not have left it like this was my feeling. Like, why is the back window down? Why was that side locked and this one not? What is going on here? Like, it was parked weird. Like, no, it's not a weird parker or either. <laughs> you know, like, who does that? Heck, no, it's my brother's truck. I ain't trying to mess that up, man. I ain't trying to not have a big, you know, that's how he thinks because that's how he should think. I'm not driving. I don't own this truck. I'm going to try to not make my brother uh, mad about letting me be, you know, out with the girls or awesome things like driving or whatever. He's not going to mess that up on purpose. Yeah. So it's parked and then weird. The scattered things or whatever, you know, just weird. What, what do you mean in terms of scattered? Did it look like someone had gone through uh, yeah. it? Do you ever have your glove box fall open, your drawer in your glove box of your car? Like when it's got other things? 
what in the world happened here? You know, like what? You know, I, I tell you, if you move, you come to my house, you move a couple of things around it. I don't know where my things are. Right. Kind of like why? What is that? You know, instantly my soak in the area Spider Man security sense stuff. I go, why is my daggum Bluetooth speaker over here when it goes here? What? That's that. That's what I noticed. Like, okay, things are out of place. Everything that's different. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and there was pills there, which you've talked about on the Vanish podcast. I actually don't even remember that there were. Were there? Uh, I don't remember that. I know they were in the thing when I uh, left it at the gas station. I don't remember them being in there. I don't know off the top of my head. Was that the case? I couldn't remember. Uh, that was my take on it from the Vanish podcast. But um, So he was – I don't know. I you don't remember seeing him? I feel, I feel like he had them and he was selling them also or whatever. He leaves them in a truck. The, if they're the Adderall, like they have, they are very high and very high out on the street and stuff. Like, I don't know of anybody that would do something like that. It's like money in a bottle or something for somebody to go, yeah, no, I'll just leave it right there. Um, yeah. I'll all the, whatever. That's kind of odd. I don't remember saying that. I know some of the. I didn't say it because who knows, but I don't think that makes sense to me. I know I'm some of the theories around it are that uh, he was supposed to sell it, but he didn't. He actually. St- took money from someone essentially saying he was going to sell them, but then he kept them. That's, that's one of the theories that's being kicked around. I just wanted to tell you. That doesn't shock me. I mean, I, it, you're not informing me of nothing I heard. Uh, <laughs> I promise you, like, I know he took them. I hate he took them. I wish he didn't have, have access to them, but yeah. that experience that, in that ordeal, I'm like, yeah. yeah, you know, I even told him, he seemed a lot more, he was maturing. He was almost the grown up, that he could have been there and he was he he got enabled by this situation more to go back to his addiction you know? yeah yeah doesn't excuse it but it's like uh having a problem with eating a little bit of jelly beans if you always see them in your house and then all of a sudden you wake up and you're surrounded by jelly beans you're like man it's gonna be a long day i'm off today yeah <laughs> you know, they're all around you or something like that and how could he not and especially if he ever focused on them even briefly like Hey, I got these. Uh, oh, I can sell. It. He's thinking about it. Thinking right. about it. Some people you can't even mention drinking around mm-hmm. former uh, alcoholics. Yeah, I, I've seen Ryan Reynolds and uh, what, the other guy from uh, Deadpool having that little playground insult thing on YouTube the other day. And he did that right there. He said, I "Don't even bring up drinking around me." Yeah, yeah. And he's around these things that Noah's had a problem with. Now, never my own because he never stole mine. He would. They would break. I think he had uh, he straight up asked me for one one time and he got a correct reply. <laughs> like not in a not in a bad way, but in a way where it's like, yeah, no, no, you can't, no, but yeah, weird, you know. And then we got the big brother little brother moment thing, and you're right. not going to come back in here and ask that because you're not going to get that whole dad moment, that whole sit down full house Bob Saget play the music. Oh man, this just. We're, Pretend this didn't happen. They so, Josh, have to deal with that. you guys, you guys did not party together in any way like that. No, I'm, I've never been a partier. Okay, gotcha. Uh, your mother made a comment about it looking like something terrible might have happened in the front seat of the truck. Do you, you want what it was? Really, what it was? What was it? <laughs> that the seat was stuck and it wouldn't lock. <laughs> That's all the truth. Because she, my goodness, Josh was wrong with my mom. just won't lock. I can't drive, and I can't. That's what it was, and so mom was like, "Somebody definitely messed with," because that's how my mom would assess that. Like, yeah, mom, somebody definitely did mess with it, but I still got to figure out how to drive this thing. And stuff. So, I think it was sliding too. Okay. <laughs> so every time I come up to a red light to stop, <laughs> I was doing that whole effect, and my mom's in the passenger seat as we're going to the doctor. Josh, you okay? Let's, let's start breaking this much further back. Okay. Good idea, Mama. Good well, idea, Mama. Something's obviously wrong with his truck now. That's how she'd say that. So it looked like that when you guys picked it up, or was it like that previously? <sighs> yeah, when we picked it up. It was when not like that up. previously. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because a lot of people are assuming that means that she saw something bizarre in there, like, you know, blood stains or some kind of someone got hurt in the driver's seat. But that's that's not the presumption that is going on here, right? Bless her heart. It sounds like it's something all the time. Um, yeah. Well, and honestly, Josh, I struggle with it too because if that was the case, why would the police officer have turned it back over to you so easily? It just it oh, really yeah, doesn't yeah. make sense. It was weird. It was weird the way it was just like, 
I found it. Dang, you found it. Let's go get the next one. Yum, yum, yum. You think they're even just waiting? Right. There it is, man. Everything all right, Josh, or something like that. No, I just pulled up and there's my truck. Yeah, if, if, if there would have been any probable cause of them thinking that something had happened in there, they wouldn't Absolutely. have just turned it back over to you. And then with Schedule 2 narcotics inside of it, like the right. weird thing earlier with that right. wondering moment that we had there, like, they definitely wouldn't have wanted to do that. Not in that area, not at that hotel. Yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, now, I saw a Facebook post from July 16th, 2014, where it looked like you were actually trying to sell your truck. Yeah, I am still on that, too. I can. Anytime I do anything I want with my stuff. But no, no, no. It was I'm a just... head gasket had blown. But I'm not being inside. I'm not. That yeah, yeah. sounds so insulting, but. Yeah, it's possible. I had it for 11 years. Yeah, you know? and, and you were talking about trying to take care of some debts. I don't know if it was legal fees or stuff like yeah, that. Man. Yeah, yeah. And, and you got... wanted to find a smaller car or something along those lines. You were trying to do a lot in terms of trying to sell the truck. Yeah, man. It's... Sounds feasible. I, I, all of it, it does to me. Like when I'm doing that, I'm like, I'm thinking about selling it. I want to hear if somebody wants to buy it. That's what yeah. I hear. I didn't want to separate from it, though, because I love that truck. I still wish I had it, but I love that truck. So that was a situation, though. I was not working hardly any, and the priority had been my daughter. I succeeded, right? And the uh, you know the sacrifice was the labor not occurring like yeah. it had been, and usually doing. Okay. I was not doing well in finances. I did had I had saved well to build for that. So okay, I was almost to the point of beating beans for the rest of my life or something. Now, in this stretch, this is when Noah is out of prison as well. Is he tr helping you sell the truck at any point? No. 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 So this is you? He doesn't just have any uh, auto dealership uh, uh, friends or nothing like that. No. Okay. So this is you just literally putting something out on Facebook. It, you know, I want to sell my truck. Before. Yeah. If someone would give me a bunch of money for this, I'd sell my truck, essentially. Now they have marketplace. Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe I was getting that idea out there for them. Okay. I don't know. That's what I was thinking about. Was like, I bet people will see this. Guys, let's take. I want to mention this too before I've done any podcast, any show, anything. I have, I've been in promotion and stuff here. I got, uh, uh, let's say Noah never went missing or that. I've had 2,000 plus people on my board just because I am not bright. I do not have that many friends. They just are on my page. And so, hey, man, there's a good chance somebody's going to say something. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. I'm not thinking that's fame. That's. Good chance somebody's going to say something. Yeah. yeah it, honestly, that could be part of what's working against you in terms of people being very critical of you now because you're Nobody attracting. Nobody locally is, get, is critical of me. Yeah. No, no, no. Nobody I, locally even knows, to be honest with you, apparently. Yeah. No, I, I, I've definitely heard that as well. Um, where's the truck now? Uh, gentlemen, I, I pretty much traded it off for uh, a friend of mine who I actually see a lot even as of this week. Owned a dealership. He may still own it. It may still be a dealership. I'm not sure, but the location still bears the name of the business. Yeah. Um, I went in there after it had stopped for the last time, and man, I almost spent ten thousand dollars in the last two years on this truck. Right now, where it's uh, three to four. Right. I had to, you know. <clears throat> anyways, um, what's wrong with it? It was actually left at the um, location of the other parent of my daughter. For some reason, we got it pushed it that way. I think we were close or hauled it. Anyways, it was somewhere needing a tow also, and I hate doing the tow company. I remember, like, that next day after work, me and a friend started to go look. Hey, man, what about um, first name only Nathan? Nathan, let's go see Nathan. Let's go to his car lot. We go to his car lot. What do you need? You don't have a car right now? He gave me some keys and take this one. Okay. And it was like that because he had some, like, um, it was a – an older model infinity he knew he wouldn't you know like a total window price it was an older model car it was in pretty good shape that type of thing uh, one of them trade-ins he didn't want to have to take in as a trade-in things and he's like i'll just hold right to you a couple of weeks and see where you're at about whatever it was like that because he owned it okay so he and takes so when the that truck couple weeks came up i did I, I gave him the truck was never repaired though and from my understanding i think he said that my last check that it's still sitting where i'd seen it even last which is outside of business uh, around other Ford trucks. Did you sign over the title? No, I gave uh, the title. The title remained in the glove department. Okay. Yeah, people are curious about why there, there was a Carfax that was pulled that shows that you're still the owner of the truck currently, which yeah. if it is broken down and it's sitting on someone's lot, 
uh, they're not registering it probably. So the update. You know, Kerry gave me a loaner car for a couple of weeks. He's not, he's a friend, you know, like he doesn't, he sound like one. I bet y'all wish you would have a friend like that. If your car yeah. like, dude, excuse me. I'm like, thank you, Nathan. Yeah. I'm not like, Hey man, make sure you put this on this, uh, whatever, uh, Josh, do you want help? That's where I would have went with that. Right. right. Yeah. I took the help. I needed the help. I definitely needed the help. Okay. Uh, what I he did with it was honestly on him. Cause, uh, if he would have needed me to put my signature, oh, I gave it to him. Yeah. I, it was what it was. Not only that, I, he did loan me a vehicle. I did see that. I knew the value of it. And honestly, time for a change. And I, have no time to pick a zillion battles. Yeah. yeah like, no, I, I demand you. this where I got a running one. I'm good. I'm good. Right. I'm good. So of the stuff that Noah came and picked up from you, did you ever find the truck key or your wallet? No. Oh, and uh, there's a brief video of it. Yeah, uh, locksmith willing to be a good locksmith. Right. Uh, I can, I can take it out for you and ungrave it or whatever they call that process. And he did it. He said, it's not something they like doing. Yeah. Maybe I buy you next to nothing. He did it. Or I could pretty much start it with a Sharpie. Right. You know, that whole thing. That's what it was. And from then on, it actually, I was, you know, well, it's not running. Uh, it's still mine. Okay. You said uh, that as of this moment, that can still start it as far as I know, but it doesn't start. Gotcha. Gotcha. So he just, he basically removed the locking mechanism and left it so you can start it just by yeah. sticking something um, in keep it. Keep it okay. in mind, just wanted it out, pay, 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 pay. And box me out. Anybody know how much they cost? Probably a couple hundred. Well, you're right. Right. Or right. I can pay 30 and have anything. I'm like, is it, uh, can I fix that later to have some more security? Yeah. I'm like, okay. Right. Gotcha. You know, but in terms, of, in terms of the stuff that Noah took, so the truck key, the wallet, and your cell phone are all still missing and have never been recovered. The what? The truck key? The, the truck wallet key, and my cell phone? The wallet been. and your cell phone. That's that sounds accurate, yes, sir. Okay, I don't think anyone's. I, I don't know also if uh, Detective Miles has recovered them and he's put it in his pocket to see if I say I found it or something. You never know, they may have something. Their okay. investigation still open and they're not going to tell me. Gotcha. Uh, I don't just, think it's been, I don't think it's been located by anybody. Just let me say, I have reached out to Detective Miles, he has uh, an open invite to come on the channel and be interviewed as well. So I, I would love that. I, I've tried yeah. myself, I want him. I man, I'm, yeah. I'm always. I went and done a few of the things like we had a national missing persons day in Hamilton County. I was like, I'm going to go up there and represent anybody that I can or whatever, but, um, I want my brother up. There. Um, you want to come up there with me? Right. No, no, no. I, I, and then I also gathered in the obvious, the person, the, uh, the vibe, the pulse of what we're probably acting like with each other because of the podcast. All right. right. Yeah. Let's see, Josh and uh, Detective Miles after those became like they became, and uh, oh man, it's gonna be a weird car ride or something if we're on the same <laughs> bus. Or, I was right. like, man, let's go in and show them that we're a unit, you know, a uni, a unity going on here at least. Yeah. Like we are Noah right now. We want to see if you, he's never wanted or he's never accepted the. Uh, yeah, I'm very particular with how I use my words here. I, mm -hmm. I change everything I can because I'm overthinking all the time. I don't want him to think I don't like him in any way. I just right. need him. And so far, um, my preferences have never been and something taken into consideration. Yeah, But gotcha. he, he definitely is a detective. I am not. So he gets that with training and experience, and he must be on, you know, yep. he must feel like his Lego house is becoming a Lego house. Right. I don't know. I'm over here fishing. I don't know what's wrong. Um, there was also a food stamp card that was in your wallet, I believe. Did they ever try to trace that? I don't know. I had yeah. to order another one, so probably not for long. Okay. You can't it's, go out quite, 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 uh, quite quickly or else what? Somebody else is eating all your free food, man. And uh, I still am. I was, and uh, I needed to be that parent. Yeah. Got out. I still had to feed her. Yeah, absolutely. Probably canceled it immediately. Uh, actually, it was probably the... As soon as she went to bed that night, after I came home, one of the second or third things I did. Yeah. I'd love to go get that kitchen refilled back up because I'm back with a vehicle or whatever. And no one else while I do it, you know, other than Noah. Whether or not, I don't know that time frame where he hadn't been around or whatever. Yeah. I bet he didn't do a grocery run, you know. So, yeah. Right. Okay. Um, you mentioned on Twitter that your laptop had been stolen by a confirmed thief. 
But then I also I think I remember from Vanish that you said that the laptop was actually still in the truck. I'm kind of confused on that. What happened with the laptop? It got bartered off. Was it in the truck? As far as what I'm, yeah, I, I was given. Uh, there's a friend of mine named Jason uh, Butts. He still currently is on social media discussing things. Um, anyways, we just became friends that year. I remember that he is the one he gave me. He showed up at my house, had a brand new laptop for me because I had like a uh, phone and laptop was gone, and that was the reason why he showed up with that. Well, hold on. So your original laptop disappeared. The one prior to me going to jail. So you're saying the one yes, that before you went to jail. So long, man. I'm trying to make sure I'm following. Yeah. I also yeah. have uh, laptops, like a lot of laptops. It's fourteen hundred dollar right. freaking laptop here, and sometimes I, I, I swap them out. But I, I'm quite sure a person called old man that bartered things for drugs back and forth, who's now apparently deceased, received my computer. Yeah, it was kind of confirmed. Myself, okay. I confirmed this with, uh, you know, a, a person involved and attached to the case with Noah. I'm not into naming names, by the way. I yeah. don't do that. I don't like doing that. I think it's dangerous and reckless, really. Yeah. So, yes, I know the person's name here. No, I'm not saying it. And, um, yeah, I, so I, confirmed is, that it, I, I confirmed they passed away. Is the story that Noah sold the laptop to this guy? Yeah, it sounds valid, honestly, because um, he was – no one could get some things done, you know, and he yeah. was apparently seeking money. Okay. And he got that far, at least. It's not a, it was a pretty decent computer. Okay. Uh, on the Sheriff's Talk show that you've called into several times, and let me they just do. say, I'm sure some people would, I think some people would understand why you're trying to do it, to make sure that they're thinking about the case and that you're getting information out about the disappearance. Um, I think some people would also struggle with your approach on it sometimes, like the Australian accent thing. Uh, what about the Australian accent? That's a genuine Australian person. That's a person? Yeah. I thought I was mine. looking into he your sent transcript. Me a major gift the other day. Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. I Nick thought. Mann. Hey, Nick. Yeah, he's in here. He's a good person. He's been a part of our team for a while. I looked yeah. into the transcript and I thought that you were doing that. That is so funny. Because <laughs> I thought oh, it mentioned real. He's a real person. He's a real person. Gotcha. I thought it mentioned at some point that you had made a joke about the uh, how sweaty no, someone I, was. I or something, joked but. back in a parody form because I noticed that they they talked that I admitted that I was Nick Mad or something. It's just one of them random days where I'm like, oh man, they think that they think Nick is me. Yeah. What? And I was like, oh man, it's something else to throw up. It's like, uh, well, I'm really I glad. Ha I vent and feel better making the video. Not even the finished product is what makes me feel better than just going, <laughs> so stupid. Yeah. I'm it's glad I brought so that silly. up. I'm glad I brought that up. So on the sheriff's talk show. Yeah, because he's real, man. He is real. Nick, Nick is a good friend and he's been very helpful. So excellent. Uh, Sheriff Sisk uh, kind of explained to you grid searching and you were asking yeah. about having your own property searched at some point. Did it ever get searched? It took a while. That was my, la honestly, I ain't gonna lie. I've known how to do that. That part of yeah. me doing that is um, softball pitching thing, man, due diligence. I want, I've been going, hey man, hey, 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 for quite a while, but that's me pitching a polite fit is building up, building up. He knew what I was probably gonna ask too. Right. I was like, all right, I got this kid over here. He knows I have a kid. He knows I wouldn't take my, yeah. guys, just, we need to do this. And um, that was my way of kind of making him explain it and talk about it. In a sense, where when he went to the work the next day, we go, hey, uh, Alan, come here. Right. Probably what he did, honestly. What's going on with this and why ain't we looked at it yet? <laughs> that's, probably, that's what I was seeing in my mind. I do know how beside, behind the scenes – can work in uh you know law enforcement places again i don't know everything yeah but i know how they talk to one another is not how they would talk to one another in front of a news camera uh, i'm just wondering what is your theory in terms of having your own property searched what what were you thinking might have happened um honestly here comes yeah. a know-it-all sounding moment again but i'm in emergency action plans all right there's an acronym i've always used if the trash can's on fire, you can apply to that. If there's a riot going on, you can apply to that. It's L I E R D, Lear. You locate and verify the problem. Trash can's on fire. There it is. Hold up. Leave it alone. You isolate it to hold up. 
part. You evaluate what you got to do. Give me a fire extinguisher, water. Then you put it out. You resolve it, and then you deactivate. Was anybody hurt? Or whatever you got to do. Lear to apply to any emergency action plan. So, the story being at that time, last seen in persons that I talked to Uncle Rick, I did. He seen him. Okay, our uh, you know we don't have hearsay in those moments. Family, the family says family was here. Uh, you know, at that time, we thought the last time he was seen was on the property there, right? I mean, that's that was kind of the date on the flyer, I think, at that time, too. Okay. Um, so we start here. Why would we go anywhere else? Okay. We need to clear this first. There's a very good chance that he's there, and the detective has even, and may still. I got emails from him talking about coyotes eating. Hmm. I'm like, let's check. You know, let's check. Well, I'm kind of making back backlog. I get it. I get it. I get it. About eight months later, I'm like, can we look right, on the right. property? I knew he never had any. I, 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 don't, I don't think of myself as like anything more than I really want them to walk. I want to walk them into the right things to do sometimes when I know that they can't be doing things. I know we don't have any cadaver dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw what that. What do you think, Sheriff? Just we, you know, I asked that way, so he has to say it. Oh, I mean, it's not so I can sue him later. And so I'm like, hey, man, you think we might need to do this? You know, right. it's pretty much what I'm doing. Google search, Google map, blah, blah, blah. I get all that, and I'm glad he knew how to answer it. Yeah. What I really wanted him to do was to remember that I'm calling that out out loud because right. wouldn't that matter four years down the road? And he's here the whole time. He's been here. Yeah, it would matter. Yeah. yeah. And now you got what? That video says, hey, man, <laughs> look at me. Come help me find it. Caleb shouldn't have to go on these trips where I look and possibly find a corpse or something on our property because he ran from my hotel. Yeah. I, we need them to do a lot of things in that they're doing. So we it was them, it was based we need them to do that. It was it was specifically based on Uncle Rick's information about seeing him run off into the woods. No, it was strictly based on the fact that we knew he was there. OK. Okay. Not just more, that you knew Rick he was, was there. not the um, center of that or the um, uh, origin okay. of that story. Um, I talked to the people that had dropped him off to Walmart. I've talked to them and myself in person. Right. Also, so had uh, Rick. You know, and uh, I talked to my stepdad, Mike. Mike remembers right time. What are you doing up here, boy? Uh, uh, no, I'm not saying that. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I'm taking boxes. So, um, yeah, just that credibility, that merit. Okay. Um, now I want to bring up a, a little bit of a change in topic here. Um, we have, I don't have a political affiliation or anything like that. <laughs> We're not going to go that far. Um, we have another half brother named Jason and we kind of touched Who? on this in the last interview. Yeah, I can't, I honestly, I can't talk in any form about it. Uh, so now I know Josh has promised to be able to answer every single question. We have a very good reason why we can't go into a specific line of questioning. So he's not going to make any comments here, but I'm going to let you guys know kind of what's going on. Uh, in the first episode where I interviewed him, we talked about that there are other half siblings, uh, on the father's side of Noah. One of them is a gentleman named Jason, and there is an order of protection that is currently in place. Uh, between Jason and Josh here. Um, I'm sure these guys are both upset from both sides about this. The thing that breaks my heart about this is we have two guys that are essentially working on the same goal of trying to figure out where Noah is or what happened to him. And unfortunately, we can't get them on the same page in terms of doing that. Now, Jason from what I can see is working a bit closely with some of the critics that we have been talking about all throughout this interview series. So I'm going to leave it at that. We're going to roll go, roll forward into the next line of questions. Uh, but that's where it's at with Jason, um, just so everyone kind of knows. Uh, all right. So next question on here. Uh, one of the more serious accusations, uh, Josh, has been that once you got into Noah's Facebook account, that you did some type of cleanup work in there. Can you tell me about that? Uh, they're doing all they can to sound. What was that? They're doing all they can to sound for age. It's was there anything? Ridiculous. That, it's ridiculous. Did you delete anything in his account? No. Why would I? I'm not sure. That's you know. <laughs> like I, I mean, uh, well, I mean, he had nothing. He hid. <laughs> right. Well, 
that's just ignorance. Of course, they would have to say something like that because all our obvious proof that would be there is not there. Hmm. How else would they? They couldn't do what I did. Me and Chase got in there. It took us a minute. So they couldn't do it. I guess it bothered me. Guess what, though? They weren't around until this year. Yeah. They weren't. So um, that's important. No one never knew them. Yeah. And they're not legally attached in any way. They're not legally his half brothers. No one has us. Right. We have him. That's it. Legally, there really is. You have to legitimate the relationship between a uh, child born out of wedlock here. Yeah. It just so happened that he was not born out of wedlock. So guess what happened? Automatically and willingly so, um, Jay Davis is his father legally. So, and then also recognize first, that does matter. It does. Yeah. Um, it, it, it is, it, that's pretty much open and shut what that is. Now, have we known that, 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 yeah. Yeah. And God rest his soul. I never knew Jerry either. Yeah. Yeah. Never unfortunately, I hate, I hate loss and I hate loss. I, yeah. I really do. And I get it. And initially I first, I thought conviction was what like, man, I've got to do something right. Cause they didn't know each other. Okay. Now I don't want to go too much into the family stuff because I don't want to. Well, that's pretty much all that I. Can yeah, say. That's, that's that is that is. is it, but, I had an initial high hope. Yeah, but I do want to pull I back. I do want to pull back to uh, the Facebook thing. So they're saying that there's logs where they can prove that you've deleted stuff on they Noah's can't Facebook prove anything. page. Okay. <laughs> the the best one of the best things I've ever been taught, learned, and can confirm to be true is. The best predictor of future behavior is the past behavior, and you show me right. what they've proved. Yeah. They can't. I'll tell you what. Uh, you want to tell – let's Google search what can and can't be done on Facebook and then figure out how we can apply that to making Josh appear discredited even. I don't know. I know in Google Chrome, for example, uh, you can go to developer tools. You can take the little you know, mouse cursor, click the object selector, and in Messenger, and select a message and edit a message. Mm -hmm. And then you can screenshot that. Right, right. Who knows what people want to do and say and prove or whatever. I don't care. I've sent the same downloaded file to a few other people. I'm yeah. sure they can compare them if they want to. It's probably the same in kilobytes. Who cares? That's a distraction. Yeah. yeah. They, they've, they've got a created theory. And their blinders are on. Well, and it's let's well, be honest, though, Josh, it's, it's not impossible to think that maybe there was some stuff in there you didn't want to see uh, that you didn't want to get out. Maybe he made some comments about someone that you guys love and you didn't want them to see it. There could be legitimate I'll give you an reasons. Example. You're right. I'll give you an example of that. Um, uh, racial slur was used. OK. And one thing that I've used as a screenshot one time, I've used uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but it was used in uh, the conversation with Rick. And no, yeah, it was okay. no reason, just as a joking form. I didn't uh, think that would be something I'd want to share. So you did edit just that I, one? I did that one, yeah. Was there other things that. like just that? Just when I was like, that screenshot, just like it's, I don't like my time on the bumps. It was like one of those things, I'm like, hey, man, let's keep that part. Yeah. Off of it. But look at this, this is what that was. Because it gotcha. was what? Not the point, yeah. So was there other instances where you did things where never, you felt? never. Okay, so it was literally just that one race, racist slur that was pulled out and no other edits. Would you do that if it was before the very final message of a missing person? It had a big, big racial slur. I mean, I was just, I mean, I was just like, I, it didn't build up to be this big ordeal that I weighed heavy, but I just removed yeah. it. Like I'm, and I just censored myself there. Okay. <laughs> I just want, you know what, select, delete, move. <laughs> Because okay. the point is the very final message, and guess what? It stayed the very final message, and these people don't – they didn't know that either. By the way, uh, breaking news. Right. There you go. Um, I said that because that's true, and um, yeah. that doesn't prove anything other than I'm keeping the, the point on the focus. They've never proved me wrong, not that I care about even defending myself. Right. The point is, is I put a story out there that is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. And so let's stay on that. No, 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 no. we want to blah, 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 blah. Uh -uh. Well, that is, that is, they're, they're really concerned. They feel like you're manipulating people and controlling the narrative. I mean, uh, they think that Marissa was completely manipulated by you. I mean, this is a major fear of theirs. So let me just be very clear. Why? 
because they think that you're some kind of ultimate charming liar that can bend other people's minds. I, I, honestly, I I don't quite understand. I've never it. talked about myself so much. This is insane. Like, I just I've I've heard it from them time and time again from from one person in particular, but several of them have echoed the same thing. They're just they're feeling like they're manipulated or that you're manipulating others. Not that they're really being manipulated, and that's part of why it's really hard Those, to they're the ones that aren't they're the, the, exactly they're above that right and everyone else like marissa jones or myself or danielle is being manipulated i'll be honest with you i'm protective of the people i care about and the dad bought man leave my friends alone dude. yeah no, i hear like, you I want, like yourself now too you're doing your job and what you're good at but dude i'm telling you you're doing something my family my family needs it my family needs you yeah. My family's needed news outlets across the world, but we've got you. We've yeah. got her. We've got, you know, uh, not much. Yeah. We've got you guys. You guys are a voice for the voiceless. We can't have people putting their hands over those mouths and she did nothing wrong. And that is my friend. She has done, she has been like, she. if I hadn't done the first one with that podcast, I would not be able to talk to you right now. Right. Absolutely. Um, I would not have found any of this. Like she introduced us literally, literally personally yep. introduced us that day. And they're just, why are they, why, I would never want to focus on anything off subject. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, I get that. And I've even vocal between myself and the police, the ones that matter. Yeah. Um, you know, cause I've, I, I know I'm supposed to be looked at, you know, mm -hmm. who else is you if you move here. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> I'm just saying, right. uh, really, um, after four years now, let's look at, um, disqualifying certain people that are probably you know like i went to them about three years into it, i was like whatever it is that you guys need to do or would need out of me i would like to make sure that we get this rumor stuff figured out i'll come in and put every whatever kind of work in that i need to but yeah let's get this officially figured out and locked aside because what would be crazy about me getting away with it for all this time and then like oh man we know it right or whatever. and then they're like man you knew it y'all didn't even arrest I'm so, I'm so good at manipulating the entire planet now because it's reached the entire planet, but it hasn't had me good. I don't understand. Um, That's a good point. That's a good point. And yeah, you, how can I do that? I've manipulated the whole world. I've been, I've gotten away with it to the point. Right. Really? And then right. y'all still can't find him nor put handcuffs on me. Can't come on. Yeah. I'm not like that. I'm not Dr. Evil. While we're talking about this, I want to go into some of the motives that have been brought up to me about why you could be involved okay so i'm All just right. going to ask you flat hey, I out mind, i don't mind asking because this yeah. is what this is no i know afterwards i might be like refer to this show yeah yeah absolutely you know, please do that. uh were you ever upset at noah for sleeping with a current or former oh. girlfriend of yours <laughs> no 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 i actually found out about it by one of those people yeah yeah and it's the it's the i'm wording it that way because of specifically yeah, because yeah, of that's that why I, though, that's i was like what and guess what though guess what else i also found in stacks of papers and stuff he made a list man and i confirmed that and i was like oh man. that didn't anger me at all i would i say something to i'd make fun of him i, was, I definitely had zero intentions on returning to any of that Right. The point of that is, is like, wow, the relevance is just so minuscule. But yeah. not only that, they have zero clue about how me and him were with each other. And to know that I would be like, <laughs> you don't associate yourself to sharks, man. You know, like, right. I would be on him like that. I would not be on him any other way. Like, really? You went that way now or whatever. That's the route I would have took. Yeah, I would have made fun of him a little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm not, I mean, that's just how brothers operate. It's how we operate. It's yeah. not like it's some, there's nothing wrong about that. I, that's not me talking down about the other person involved in that story. No, I it's hear It's more you. about how me and Noah would handle it. Yeah. And it would be like, hey, hey, come here. I'll see what you did. Right. What, that's exactly all it would be, too. And you know what else? We're not like everybody else. And you and your family, your siblings, if you even have it, you have any siblings. Do you have any siblings to be on? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the answer. Mm -hmm. I don't know how perfect and halo bearing that everyone in your household has been right. when you were growing up, but. I don't know. I've laughed at them. Yeah. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. Okay, uh, cool. Were you ever I upset? That way if I can. <laughs> I really do. I promise. And some of you know that now. Yeah. Were you ever upset at Noah for stealing something from you? 
never had the chance to be upset about the one time you did it. About the truck? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I never even thought of that. I was like, um, he only really did one time. So, no. Okay. I even tried to, uh, you know, I'm not, I wouldn't have held it. I wouldn't even have held it over his head for much longer than chewing him out one time. But what? Because he would have answered me. He would have told me. He would have. He wouldn't be like. He would tell me. I don't care what the danger. He would. He would have said what has happened, and I would have. I, honestly, right. I forgive him for it already. Yeah, yeah. No, you made that clear earlier. Uh, and were you ever upset at him for not, or anyone for not bailing you out of jail? You had no option to get bailed out during this I particular. Get bailed yeah. out of jail. Yeah. So you had no harsh feelings towards anyone in your family for not being able to help you out of that situation, if it was rational or not. You did mention that you, they traced when they were tracing phone calls and you were asking them to find the phone call to Noah. You did mention that they found a phone call to a Bales bondsman. Yeah, he's my friend too. So did you want to hear it? I do have it. It just turned into the really brief one of those. And the other two have made him like. Yeah, I thought that was the other thing, but it was just me going, you know, like, hey, man, Jeff, Jeff, ready? Okay, cool, I'm outside, or something like short and brief like that. But it was me talking to him. Yeah. But I in terms of you. I was like, ah, oh, I kind of built it up like it was that one, too. Uh, in terms of your call to the, call to the bail bondsman, though, were you asking about trying to get bailed out? No, um, I knew I was getting bailed out. We were in an open court that day, and – Here's how that went down. Like, uh, I think I pretty much lowered it to next to nothing uh, to get me out. I had the hold. Okay, now the hold, the judge goes, all right. Okay, um, Mr. Wright's have been in there for way too long because something, I don't know what it was, but that wasn't court like the normal time, the previous one. It's once a week in Collegeville. Okay. So he's like, all right, Mr. Wright's been there for a while. What can we do? Uh, is there anybody you got, Mr. Wright, that can set your bond and – I know Jeff Gordon personally. He's a business, and so I'm saying that because he's Jeff Gordon, bail bonds. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we go back, and he goes, uh, Your Honor, I got him. I think they're – he goes, then after that, he set the price. I was like, dude, Jeff, dude, why would you say that? Like, I didn't want anybody to – I'm not – I don't want to ever be a burden. Yeah. Okay. Ever, dude. And so I was expecting – I'm always preparing for the worst. Yeah. Surprised by the good. That's the only way to be. But I told my daughter to do that at her birthday party. Zero could show up. Prepare for that. Prepare for that. Seriously, prepare for that because you will not get let down. Seventy kids showed up. Right, right. I'm not playing. They did. And so, but that's how you think, especially in a court of law, because who that a whole upset, anger, emotional moment in the middle in front of a judge, judge ain't gonna have your emotions. Right. You need to be able to handle that. Walking back in them shackles, you may not leave, and that type of thing. And, um. He just walked forward and vouched for me and got me out immediately. My little brief call to him was I had to go back to the Hamilton County Jail. I rode there in a van of inmates with, that had court that day. Yep. And so you have to get removed from that group and sent back in. The, their count. They slide me over to this room where they add me to this room and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so in the middle of that, I called. Yep. Yeah, everything good because he had to do his part. Turn gotcha. sheet of paper. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to ask this outright because I am trying to represent the other side here. You keep yeah. saying stuff like you have to warn me or to <laughs> me to Well, like honestly, for this gone. one, this, this is probably one of the most direct questions I just want to put to you because I want to give you a chance to I answer this. I got to go. Movie's coming on. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ask me anything at any time, bro. You're good. Did no you worries. have anything to do directly or indirectly with Noah's disappearance? And that Nothing. could include that there was some situation where maybe you guys were doing something together that might have been a risky situation that might have anything. Is there any? Um, nothing other than being a part of the reason why he was able to be existing on the planet when he went missing. I was a part of the garden growing uh, seed that he came You know, he, he yeah. was a part of our household. Yeah. And um, I, I was someone that was ex – honestly, there's nobody on this planet now with my mom gone that knew him better than me. I'm not kidding you. Yeah. I'm not kidding you. There's not a single person. I, I bet you Kaylee's the next one. I'm not playing. Kaylee right now is the second of most of life that like, would know him better than anybody. I kid you not. There's no one else that knew him. Yeah. And so I am that to him. I'm the <clears> – <throat> 
I introduced the world to problematic things like the internet detectives, these things like that. Other than that, nothing, absolutely nothing to do with this. And maybe I'm a part of the reason why it's gotten hindered because I've dealt with morons attacking my, me and my family in calamity. That's all I can do. What am I supposed to go? Like, just, oh man, well, they say I did just, what, uh, just cover your ears and run through the, well, no, I'm a man too. So uh, we had a little disconnection there, but uh, I just wanted to let Josh know, you know, um, I've had my share of, yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's the reason for the disconnection. Um, I've had my share of people that don't like me or my content and stuff like that. And I used to go down the road of trying to convince them why they were incorrect about things. And so often it just didn't pay out that I got to the point where I just stopped addressing them. And honestly, they disappear very quickly. That's part of the whole trolling mentality oh, yeah. is they're looking for attention. So if you give that back to them, they feel justified and it keeps going. It's like a chain that they, they just keep pulling on. So I don't know. I, I hope you'll consider it. I, oh, I, I definitely will consider it. But uh, um, this narrative has been solely coming, unfortunately, from what the direction of yes. or whatever. And so keeping that in mind, I'm not a brand of Coca-Cola. I'm not a brand like, a, you know, Brain Scratch or any of you guys shows. Right. Uh, what am I? I am a man who is 100 percent of, you know. My own outlet right now. My integrity has to matter. Yeah, it does. It does I matter. Try, I try to pick the major. Uh, trying to say I killed my mother. Yeah. Pretty big. Deal. Yeah. No, I hear uh, you. And I, you know, honestly, if it offends people, uh, you know, sometimes I'll say if I hear it, I'll say what I feel like. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, little things. I try. I do try. I do actually let them go. It's when they're like, do you know when he tried to burn his neighbor's house down and when he uh, stepped outside to record dispatch? And I'm like, dude, I had a broadcast file, man. Oh, my God. I'm watching it. I'm like, I had a broadcast file. They think I'm out there with a Sony Walkman AM FM radio to hitting the record button while my mother dies. Get out of my yeah. face. Yeah. Um, those things I, I do speak about i don't go i make it worse i reply yeah yeah i just wonder if the replies are helping when you're dealing with people that in those cases I, I i just had something to say you know what i'm yeah. saying like yeah uh, that's my family uh, i am the big brother and that guy is i'm not an alpha male mentality type i will lock you out of the house I will. And there's somebody who has pending legal action against me right now that definitely understands that he's seen me do it before. Yeah. No, I get it. I mean, I'm just saying, like, I will protect the house I grew up in, and so will my child. Mm hmm That's just a thing you do, man. Nobody's going to go mess with your mom. Yeah. No, I know that's that's a really hard part of uh, of the conversation you've been dealing with. It's just going to be forgotten about. And I get yeah. that, too. It's just going to – they just get the people out there that get to do that. Right. Get trolling. I get all that. I'm not in this for fame. I'm not putting myself out there. I'm telling them a story because nobody else will until, you know, luckily the timeline that changed some. You guys, here come the halo bears. Right. But there was a time when it was just me, and I'm thinking, what the newspaper won't put it. Are you serious? Maybe I can look for these ways, and luckily I succeeded. But when people are saying things, what would be a quick out on the fire that I am, the little bitty speck? A fire. Uh, what would be the water pour? Uh, hey, man, you know he, uh, Sony Walkman, the dispatch, instead of trying to save his body, they yeah. need to put duct tape on, over those outlets. Yep. Well, uh, let's change. About, that sounds offensive. I don't want to be offensive. I don't want to be offended. Yeah. You know what I mean? My family matters to me. I'm a Christian man, even too, and I look forward that way, and I go that way. Yeah. But there's one thing I move with me, and it's my family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where well, that's the trust. That's, that's what I'm going to continue to do too. Yeah, and I know that's a big part of why this is so important to you in figuring out Absolutely. what's going Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Yeah. If it was about my ex girlfriends or yeah, careful, careful. There's 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 definitely eggshells that yeah are being stomped on in certain areas. That man, um, have, I bet you won't want to share them. Yeah, no, I hear <laughs> you. You've seen. I guarantee you, a yeah. classy won't. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's change, 
let's change the tone one last time with the last question for you. Uh, I've heard that there was mention of a possible tip that has been called in lately. Yeah. In yeah. Chattanooga. Can you tell us at all about that? I didn't say where it was from. Um, I, I got an anonymous call and it seems to be, um, it connects a lot of dots from some of the uh, people via Facebook messenger and stuff like that, that um, he had gotten around town with within that last week. Okay. And, um, you know, it's, it's more than an okay though. I know these people myself and um, they're, they're in that realm of, um, okay, some things make sense here. And then I go back and triple check other, um, I, I mean, I've reached out to these people myself personally. And I go back and I look at those messages and, Okay, that anonymous call mm -hmm. took all those little, they're not little, that took all those moments from 2014 and goes click, 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 click. And, uh, and there's a solid picture there and it's being looked into right now, yeah. Okay, so the call came into you? It was left on my, I did not answer a call. It was anonymously left in my voicemail, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Which is available. Okay. I mean, I'm not yeah. going to not accept people want to. I'm not. I'm going to do that. Yep. <laughs> I was going to let people tell me anything they want to tell me. Well, I hope that that proves fruitful. And uh, I just want to thank you for your time with us over the past two days. I really appreciate it. You're going to uh, thank me. Yeah. You guys have blown my mind. And I appreciate y'all more than you, I can even explain. I appreciate you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. She did such an amazing job. Yeah. I haven't gotten a chance to talk, to tell her. Well, you I, just did. I know she's going to be watching this. Beforehand, really, about anything, really. I mean, I'm just saying, like, dude, I'm so happy that it got told, it got updated, and that I met two more awesome people yeah. that are, yeah. you know, being the change that I want to see in the world, man. And, and I'm so glad to know y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for what you do. Thank you so much, Josh. I really appreciate having you on the show this week. Uh, hang tight. I'll be right back with you just as soon as I am done. Everyone, that is the initial look into the case. Um, I don't think this will be the last video about Noah. Um, I don't know if there will be other interviews. I've, I've put the invite out there. If you're involved in this case in some way and you think you have something to contribute, please use the contact information below. If it is a tip, get it into the hands of people that can act on it. If it's something else where you think that it would be beneficial for you to be interviewed or to share your information here, you can reach out to me at john at lordenarts.com, J-O-H-N, Lorden Arts, just like it's spelled in the channel name down below. Um, I don't know, Brain Scratchers, this is where I turn it over to you guys. Let's talk about this in the comments. Let's please, as always, remember to remain uh, respectful. Uh, obviously, we've got family that is definitely going to be looking into this. Uh, let me just go back to the shot real quick. Yeah, there we go. It's about Noah. Where is he? Take care, everyone. I'll see you back here on the Lord and Arts channel tomorrow. <laughs>